Dear twin, welcome to another glorious floor vlog. I'm sporting wizard chic as you can see today and I am ready for a magical time. So let's get going. So today you asked me to focus on a couple YouTubers who have inspired me. And I've been on YouTube now I think as a viewer for six years. And six years might not seem like a long time, but with so much content and so many users producing content every day, it's, it's quite a while. There's a lot to learn. And in that time, I have fallen in love with YouTubers and their videos, and I've fallen out of love with them and moved on and subscribed to new people. Right now, I think I'm at a good place in my YouTube subscribership, if that's a word. Um, I've found some YouTubers who I think are really genuinely great people and who really have a great message to share with their viewers. And here are a couple of them. One YouTuber you know I love is Is Way Past My Bedtime or Carrie Hope Fletcher. I know you love her too. I'm pretty sure I introduced you to her channel and I know we've both fallen in love with her videos and she's become like our big sister in another country. Um, and watching her videos is always a positive time for me because first of all it's great to see someone else's life and to see someone so positive and to have someone who can truly act as an older sibling and give you some advice for a couple years down the road. Even though her videos focus on everything from books to body image to Disneyland and tea, I think what Carrie has influenced me most with is her videos about self-acceptance and creativity. For the past few years, I've done really well with my self-acceptance and thinking more positively about myself and who I am and really growing as a human being. But being in college, life can get hectic. Midterms are around every corner. There's always a project due, people to meet, places to go. And it doesn't leave a lot of time for side projects. The college life can also get you in this mindset that you have to have a deadline. You have to have a written syllabus for every assignment that you do. And being stuck in that university mindset really makes you question whether or not you're capable or qualified to create projects or write or draw or paint or do anything creative that wasn't assigned to you. That's why one of my favorite Carrie videos is a recent one called Am I Qualified to Be Creative? If you haven't seen that video I would recommend checking it out because it's very inspirational and it helped me out a lot and I think you would like it too. And of course another YouTuber that you know I love, my ultimate favorite with no compare, Kick the PJ, PJ Liguori. He's fantastic, and if you're not subscribed to him, I know you are. But if anyone who's watching this isn't subscribed to him, they need to subscribe to him because he's absolutely amazing. PJ calls himself a storyteller. He's also a filmmaker, an artist, an animator. He does it all. He's fantastic. And you might not be able to pinpoint him as someone who makes one specific kind of video because he's been trying out a lot of new styles lately, and he makes a lot of content that's very diverse. But ultimately what I get out of his videos is that PJ is a creative person who puts a lot of time and hard work into everything that he creates and that always inspires me to want to go out and do more. I usually get ideas in my head for stories or films or poems or something brief that I don't have time to sit down and write out or sketch and he's really inspired me to want to make note of those ideas and go back and pursue them, not just keep them in my phone, unread forever, but to go and actually make something of these ideas that pop up in my head. I feel like a lot of people come up with fantastic ideas all the time, creative ideas for incredible films or books or art or completely new innovations, but because of our strict schedules or the stress of everyday life, we just don't make time to turn those ideas into a final product. PJ's videos though have made me feel like even the smallest of ideas can become something truly incredible. Particularly his latest videos on his side channel, PJ the Kick, have been really inspiring to me because he showed his animation process. And even though I don't consider myself an animator by any means, I've really been inspired to want to go and try it out for myself, specifically because his process is a little unconventional and I think that that can work for a lot of people like me who haven't tried animating before. And as someone who's such a huge admirer of his films and his art and everything that he does, 
he's really made me feel like my ideas can be that great for someone else too. Now, I know this video is supposed to be about YouTubers who inspire us, but I want to talk about books. Books have always been my best friends. When I was younger, I would sit outside during recess in the playground and read Nancy Drew. And even though that might sound kind of sad or lonely, I liked it a lot. And from reading those books, I developed a love for mysteries. I moved on from Nancy Drew to Sherlock Holmes, and from there I fell in love with young adult novels like The Fault in Our Stars. You know, that one was my favorite for the longest time and books that really mean a lot to me like The Perks of Being a Wallflower or The Catcher in the Rye or Fahrenheit 451. Through reading these books I always thought that they were teaching me something. They were another voice that I could read and relate to. They were other worlds that I could become a part of and I always thought that through reading them I was growing as a person and shaping myself through the literature that I consumed. And I wasn't wrong about that, I don't think. I think the books that I've read have truly made me into the person that I am today. They've helped me through tough situations and they've been there for me like friends. But more than that, I think that reading books and rereading books has really helped me to see how I've changed as a person. How the books that I once loved and knew by heart have changed in a meaning and how I read them today. Regardless of how I see them now, each individual book I've read has had an influence on me and I want to talk about this more but this video is getting a little long so I'm going to save it for another video. And so now I ask of you, what's your history with books? What was the first book you read? Why do you choose to read the books that you read? And what kind of impact do they have on you? Now that that's squared away, this week's bi-weekly riddle is... If Voldemort's snake Nagini went to Hogwarts, what would her favorite subject be? History. For some reason, the lighting in this video just completely decided to cop out on me. So, sorry about that. Anyway, that's it for this week's video, Twin, and I can't wait to see your next video. I love you very much, and bye! Dun-dun!